Hello everyone, this is Ishan Shah, welcome to Z Interactive Premium Tutorials. Now here in this lesson, we will create edgewares on all of these um, like uh, elements on our television. So as you can see, we have uh, some frames here with the edges and all those things. So let's check them out where we can add, we'll, uh, we'll start adding the Edgeware. So this is our side panel. You can see the frame here. I will use this frame. Okay. And I will add a blend, blend node here. Okay. So push this here. Okay. I think I have added in the, in the wrong place. It's not, it was not supposed to be here. It's supposed to be here, so oops. I'll undo, put this blend node here. Okay. And now what I will do here is that I will create a edgeware. Okay. And edgeware requires a curvature and a mask, which is optional. So I will create a curvature, put this here, and put in the curvature option. Now, curvature requires a normal map, okay? So I have to create a normal map also. So I will make, an, uh, like I will create a normal uh, map here. Put this in the normal map and normal map requires an input so this capacity mask will be the input for the normal map okay so all the edges of this panel will be added there in the edgeware and if you will if i will double click in the edgeware you can see this is where the where will be okay and I will take this and put this in the opacity mask here. And whatever edgeware color I want, I will use the uniform color here. You can also add a grunge or some noise in the mask in the edgeware, but that's optional. Now I'll make a uniform color grayscale or colored. Okay. Should be color. And you can see I'm getting this edgeware there. And it's not appearing uh, clearly. So let's do some settings there. Let's put this back there and add it in the blend right now. Okay, opacity, foreground, and then we'll put this wherever we want. Okay, now we have this. Now what we are going to do here is that, let's move this a little bit back. Or up here, or wherever it suits. I think I will take it all the way in the front because it should be on top of the whole albedo. It should go here somewhere. Okay. Down here. Let's put this up here. And what I'm going to do, I will add. I will move all these to make a space for them. And I will connect this here and this one here. And now you can see it is showing up. So let's do this arrangement there. And this one here. And all these I will move them apart. Okay, so I'm getting this edgeware. 
So like I said, it is like plain. And this is what I was uh, like. I'm looking for. I don't want anything fancy. But if you want, you can put some noise inside the mask of the edgeware, like a grunge or any other noise. But for me, this is fine. Now, what I am going to do is that I will just bring some edges where I will be adding this edgeware. But let's do for some arrangement there. Like what I just did is that I just move that connection which I just made so it will not look it will not overlap otherwise I don't like things when they are messed messed up especially these nodes are already messed or uh, like you know messy so at the same time I'm trying to uh, fix them now I can increase or decrease this edgeware you will notice that edge uh, this edgeware is also on the wooden uh, like uh, area so I will reduce the some of this part so it should not follow the wooden pattern because it will look unrealistic okay so little uh, these like settings I will do should not be that strong this is where it takes a little time when you're doing the settings here change the value 0.9 no 0.99 yeah Four point nine nine nine. Yep. Four point nine 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 nine. Okay. Okay. Now you can see. It's kind of look, oh, uneven like. <clears throat> it looks like a oh, like a pattern flow. So let's increase it a little bit more. And edge width. Let's try to reduce the edge width. I don't want any stronger edge width there. So let's change the color of these edges. It should not be white or should not be too dark like black or something something grayish okay so i will use different blending modes to see which suits better I think uh, I'll stick to uh, copy because none of these seems interesting. And a little bit of opacity I will change. That's what I can maximum do here to make some variations. Come on, the like little, little different color, not hundred percent grayish, a little tint of a of a different color. That will make sense. Okay, so let's check it out on the other side. Okay.
Now we are done with this part. Let's see what else do we have where we can apply this. Okay, and then I know I don't think it will look good with the edge wear. Wooden side panels. Mm, no, it's already there, so it, it would be same. Now oh, this is the pickup handle, so maybe pickup handles a little bit on the handles itself. Because right now it's on the frame only, so let's apply it directly on the handles, the edge wear. But take this opacity mass of the pickup handles. Alt. Alt and I will add a blend node here. Okay. And put this in the opacity mask. Yeah, over here. Okay, and I will use the same color from here, but let's copy all uh, like sorry. Let's copy all these stuff from there. Not all of them. I mean, yeah, all of them. Okay, also edge fair. Let's do these arrangements here. Edgeware. Okay, I'll put this oops here in the opacity. This should go in the opacity mask and the opacity should go in the normal map. Okay. This should go. In opacity, but let's do some arrangement right now. Let's delete this. I don't want this. And this should go in the normal map. And this should go in the opacity. Let's make sense. And here I will use the uniform color. Okay, now we are getting this. And don't worry about that black part inside because that is because of the gradient. And it's inside so it won't show a lot. So what I want, similar color, sort of edge wear, little darker or lighter, depending on your choice. Okay, so I'll do some arrangement. Okay, yeah. Oops. Oh, this door, like this order should go a little lower. Threshold, I think it's fine. Yeah, looks fine. Let's change the color to a lighter color or the, let's see what suits there. A different tint but a darker color. Something like this or maybe darker. Okay, so pickup handles are done. Now let's see what else do we have here for edgeware. Edgeware, like it says, should be only on the edges of the elements, not on the element itself. So we have to find those parts that have obvious edges. Okay, so we are done with the side panel. No, we are done. Yeah, we are done with the side panels. Now let's see what do we have else here. So 
so this is actually the front frame okay I'll take this one this here and then alt and I will add a blending node here and what I will do is that I will apply the opacity map to it copy this delete this part So I'll take the opacity map from here, put this here, and then take this, put this inside the opacity. And I will add a uniform color here. Okay, now you can see it's applying but it's not doing that great job right now especially on the screen itself and it's like it's it's like hand like it's like a machine made sort of things looks unnatural let's do some changes here I'll add a histogram select there. So I can only select the part where I want this edge. Let's do some changing. Let's see. Okay. I'll play with this uh, like setting of the edge wear. Lesser uh, edge width, lesser threshold. And this should go take the same color. Okay. And more desaturated. Okay, same color but more desaturated so I will choose the like gray part of that more gray part less saturated part of that same color try to see how it is affecting Okay, so what I will do here is that I will take this screen part or let's find the best part here. Let's try this. And let's take this and blend them with the separation. It's the same thing, but let's try if, uh, if let's see if it gives a different result. Otherwise, we will delete this. I think it will give the same result, but there is no harm in checking this out. Okay. 
Let's try this here. Yep, it's kind of giving the same same result. Yeah, it's kind of same. So I will just drop the idea of adding this. I'll delete this whole thing. The one that just we created. I don't want this anymore. Let's see from where it is coming. This is from where it was coming. I'll delete these two and let's see what else do we have here. Okay, I will take this and I'll try to work on this one. Only the frame itself, outer frame itself. And let's see how it works. I will blend it, put this in the foreground, or leave it right down here. Let's play with the settings a little bit more just to see what's going on here. Okay, so let's do some experiments and let's see what's what we can do else. I'll inverse this and see what kind of result we are getting out of this. If we inverse this. Let's blend it. Put this in the foreground. And I want it on only on the screen. So let's try that sort of effect here. I will apply this on this one. Subtract. Oh, it made it look like the same thing. Yeah, it's the same thing. No use of this. But let's let's keep this one for now and then we will see what else we can do that. Okay. Check different results there. So there is this weird uh, uh like edge there I have to crop it out. Okay, no. Oops. Yeah. No, it's fine.
but at least it have edges edgeware on the screen frame so that's doing a good job that's one thing that we are getting out of this one so i'll keep this one let's do little changes there just to see So let's check colors that we can see. Okay, so now we will work on this part of the front panel, which is on the right, of, uh, right side of the front. So I'll take this opacity mask, And I will take it all the way back here. Down here. And I'll just move this on the other side. So it will be nicely arranged. And let's push this back there. I'll add a blend node here. And I'll use all these existing uh, Edgeware's nodes. Okay. And then I'll connect this to normal. And this one I'll connect to the opacity of this new blend which I created. Now I need a uniform color. Okay. So I'll take this same uniform color and use it in this one. So let's play with the edge, edge very settings, just to see if we are getting something out of it. Okay, the color is very dim. I don't think we can use the same color. Issues with the color right now. Everything else is fine here. So let's do some settings till we get what we are looking for. So what I will do, I will add a adjustable or uniform, uh, our own uniform color instead of using this, delete this. Now you can see clear cut color. We'll use this color, but I'll change its uh, like value a little bit. Okay. Now this is affecting everything, but I only want this on the edges of the frame. So let's see what we can do here. First of all, we have to change its settings more. But before doing that, let's make a... Uh, let's bring something else here. Let's delete this uh, node. Now front panel, I think this one, yeah, we need this. But we have to subtract that metal part from it also. Where is the metal part? Yeah, this part we have to subtract from it because we don't want to affect the metal part. So I'll take this from here. Okay. And then move this here. Alt. Make a nice connection there. Take this, sorry, this, and put it inside the uh, foreground and subtract this. 
and this is what we got and this is where we are going to create the effect of the edge where so i'll take this move it all the way here connect oops connect it to existing here now we are getting the effect there okay but it is still applying on the metal but we'll figure it out how to solve it Okay, so let's take this one instead of this. Instead of subtracting it, let's let's use the the one that we have it from there. Now this will this is affecting a little bit more, much more better way in most much more better way. But still on the sides, I'm getting that effect. So what I will do, I will take this uh, and take it all the way back there. Okay, here. Down here. And them here. I'll make a blend here and put this in the foreground. Okay, and subtract it. Okay, now that's that's much much more better. This is what I was looking for actually. Okay. Settings we can do uh like it's up to you like how you want it to be set up this. So let's go back here and I will play with the levels and other stuff here just to see what looks much more better. I don't want the effect to be too harsh. Okay. Okay, so disorder, I think it's make it it's making it organic. That's what not that's what I don't want right now, but let's let's try. Okay, so it's coming off the edges and it's it's getting all over the place. So that's not I want. I want it to be on the edges. Reduce let's play with the threshold. Oops. Use the levels and I will reduce the disorder. I think it's it's becoming crazy. So I think uh that's all for this part. Next part we will move to the buttons and this inner panel and others other uh, like other stuff. I hope you have learned something from this lesson and we'll continue the Edgeware in our next lesson. Thanks a lot for becoming a member of my premium membership plan. And thanks a lot for joining this lesson. I'm really thankful to you all for, for your support and I hope to receive your support continuously. I have noticed that many of you are watching my videos but not have subscribed to my channel yet. So please subscribe to my channel and also click the bell icon so you can receive all the notifications about the great new contents I will be uploading soon. 
and if you have liked my videos so hit the like button and if you have any queries or questions then leave them in the comment section below and i will answer them as soon as possible and one request i have and that is i've noticed that some of the viewers do not watch my videos online and instead they download them so please if anyone is doing that and you find doing the same uh, you find someone doing the same then please stop them because this will never help me to get my hard work paid off and it will demotivate me so i don't want to stop making tutorials for you all therefore help me to get new subscriber i will take off now and take care guys till we meet in the next class stay safe stay healthy and keep learning on z interactive your own draining institute